What's going on you guys? In this video I'll be taking the Suron back to work and we're going to be talking about whether or not the Suron is good for daily commuting. And as always we are starting off with 100%. Okay so one question I get asked all the time and probably one that you're wondering is how long does the battery last? The answer is that it all depends on the rider. This bike won't last long on a racetrack but if you like riding trails and exploring it'll last longer than you want to ride. On average it lasts about 36 to 42 miles. If you live in a small town like I do where it's only 20 miles wide, then it's plenty of range to get you back and forth. You can also usually charge wherever you go so I never really worry about the range. For longer distances I plan on putting a hitch on the back of my car so I can take the Suron to other trails outside of town. The second thing you're probably wondering is how long does it take to charge? It takes about 3 hours to charge from 0 to 100% which isn't bad at all. You can also buy variable chargers like the ones from Chai Batteries which will charge your battery faster or slower as well as to specific percentages. However, they're not cheap. The Saron has 19 inch wheels and full suspension which makes it very smooth to ride on and off road. It also has a top speed of 47 miles an hour after cutting the green and black wire. Unlocking that power helps out a ton when it comes to passing slow traffic. And since the Suron is electric, it has what's called regenerative braking. This is when you let off the accelerator and the motor slows itself down, putting the energy back into the battery and helping you stop. You can turn this off, but I keep my regen on because I actually use it. You can swap the stock tires out for something more dual sport oriented like the Shinko 241s, or to make the ride even smoother, you can go straight to Supermoto tires. But I only recommend that if you're solely riding street. Me personally, I just bought the Shinko 244s. They're a little more knobby than the 241s because I tend to be off the road more, but they're still smooth enough for the street. I plan on putting those on in a future video, so subscribe if you want to see that. I have everything I need, I'm just waiting on an extra tube. And I'm also a little hesitant because I've never changed a bike tire before. I love it. Have you? Some kind of electric bike, you know. It's amazing. Yeah, it's nice. What kind is that? This is a Suron. Oh, okay. That's a high dollar one. Yeah, this is like yeah. one of the more expensive ones. Yeah, I was looking. Yeah, that's cool, man. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right, see you. Have a good one. All right, we made it to work with 92%. All right, we're back at the bike, work's done, and the percentage jumped up 3%, which is pretty sweet. So we're starting out with 95, and we're headed home. So if you live in a small town like I do, the Suron is probably a good commuting option for you. I personally use mine for small commutes and city exploration. All in all, the Suron is a sick personal commuter. It's quick enough to keep up with and pass slower traffic. If you made it this far in the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.